Welcome back to Charant Living. In today's episode, we continue our touring from last week and we hop in for a day walk in Angoulême, the biggest town next to us. Join us as we visit the famous Angoulême International Comic Festival, walk along the cozy streets, see the amazing murals and have a coffee break in the market hall. Within just a 20 minutes drive from our peaceful countryside village, we have the vibrant town of Angoulême, the capital of Charente, full of cultural life, bars and restaurants. Springtime has already arrived in Charente, but this episode was filmed in the end of January, which gives a bit more of a wintry mood than what it is now in real. Angoulême hosts annually three major festivals, Musique Métis, an annual French music festival, Angoulême Francophone Film Festival and Angoulême International Comics Festival, which we are now visiting. The comics festival spreads all around, but we are now in the core of the festival, by Le Musée de la Bande Dessinée, the comic strip museum, a lovely big space with exhibitions and a large bookstore. It is located in an old warehouse that used to store cognac. Angoulême is not only the capital of Charente, but it is also the capital of the comics. Therefore, the comics festival gathers a huge amount of visitors every year. On the opposite side of the river from the comics museum is La Cité du Lapin Dessiné, an international center of comics, which includes, for example, a public library, art house cinema, multimedia support center, and a panoramic restaurant. I even found out that they were screening a Finnish movie produced by my cousin. Media and cartoon art is really a big thing here. Angoulême hosts 40 animation and video game studios that produce half of France's animated production. Angoulême is lately known from Wes Anderson's film called The French Dispatch, as it was filmed here, starring a long line of superstars like Timothée Jolamet, and Tilda Swinton. It is no wonder that movie directors and other artists love Angoulême as it offers fascinating surroundings for different scenes. The ancient ramparts encircle the old center on the hilltop. The meandering streets offer an amazing location for the Angoulême Circuit des Rambards, an annual classic car race which started already in 1939. The track hasn't changed since the first race. Together with the historic Monaco Grand Prix, it is one of the very few car races that take place within the ancient walls of a town. On the top of the hill we find the beautiful old centre of Angoulême, with its medieval cobbled streets, churches and squares lined with bars, bistros and small shops. After strolling in the old part of the town, it is time to head towards the cozy streets, full of bars, cafes and restaurants. The day was a bit chilly, so we needed to find a nice warm place to enjoy the afternoon coffee. What would be a lovelier place to get warm 
than Marché de Halle, a local 19th century market hall. Monsieur, on a noisette, pour vous. Another beautiful mural here in Angoulême and I think we can safely say that we feel a bit like Obelix now after a couple of days of uh, pastries and and croissants and everything but really beautiful beautiful mural A great way to spend time in Angoulême is to spot all the city's tens and tens of gorgeous cartoon murals. are such a visible part of Angoulême and the famous cartoon characters are greeting visitors already at the central railway station. Angoulême has even two most central streets named after famous cartoonists. The creator of Asterix, René Cossigny and Hergé, best known for creating the adventures of Tintin. But now we step into a charming little bakery store to buy some delicious Charentaise macarons. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel in order not to miss any becoming episodes. See you next time.